Hello my friends, and welcome back to our continued plan let's play the Castle of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight run number three, the Redemption Run. We are currently in chapter six beyond the gate where we just threw some firecrackers at the dreaded ghost of Frank Stone and saved our girl. Although, unfortunately, as I said before, we're gonna probably have to redo this again. Because the problem is, she's going to stay in the future, which means we're never actually going to see the reunion of her and Jaime. And without seeing that reunion, it kind of loses some of the emotional punch. But we'll get to that eventually. Let's dive back into Chapter 6, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Beyond the Gate, Garrett Manor, 2024. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door's a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? <laughs> Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. Alright, let's head on up. Table? Yep. Movie review. Murder Mill. Reviewed at the second Fiendish Desires Fan Festival by your correspondent Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is the sun's skillful composition. The cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The, our film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us, the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre, and have, more or less, become part of the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the 10pm audience from the first frame. And I honestly cannot explain why. The overall sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything I had experienced before or am clean to experience again. The screening was mercilessly cut short though as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members before turning on one another. Turning what was a below average movie going experience into absolute pandemonium. This reviewer could not get out of that theater fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick of some kind or the part of the filmmakers and I'm not sure how that would even happen. But I have to imagine anyone with a mind to do something so devious would make a film much better than this. Murder Mill exerts a violent effect on those who watch it. Long Island... <laughs> That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. It's not an island either. It's like Iceland? Island? Uh, Long Island Auction House. Invoice, Augustin Lieber, Garrett Manor, Lot 106, Description, 8mm Film, Cinema, Cult Rare, Quantity Times 1, Price $10,000 plus, Total Tax $2,024. Interesting how the total tax is the year. Amount to $12,000. You don't see.
You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. <laughs> I could have swore there was like one other thing here. Um Ah, right here. <sighs> the Legion, the friendship found in blood. All right, we got the key. Now we have to do is solve this puzzle. Head downstairs, perhaps? What you looking at, San? Or Linda? San's looking outside. I know what that is. It's not important. All right, I have to unlock this and then get the thing downstairs. Mm, something's missing. I remember that. Find the missing piece of the diorama. So far, I think everything has gone smooth. Perhaps. You're coming with me, buddy. I don't know what to do if I should grab the notebook or the gun, though. That is one thing that. I'm not sure what the best path to take on that is. What's this? Some sort of toy hammer. Looks like it should go with something. Should probably try to pull up my notes here. Uh, let's see. The next thing that we need to do is in chapter 7. Because we can't get hooked. Because we've been hooked every time. Yeah, we've been hooked every time. So we got to pass those. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Okay, time to unlock that gate. Let's forget how to do this. I never know the code for this thing. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern. But I can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna... More heads and heads. And heads. <laughs> I'm gonna try to figure out what the uh, the code is so I don't have to spend forever doing this again. It's house wood hammer. Oh! Are, is, is it the house? It's like the manor and the, the wood is the thing we picked up and the hammer is the thing that we just got. Is that how this puzzle works? House. There. Wood. Hammer. Yeah, I think that's how it's supposed to work. Because you got the wood and you got the hammer. And I think before you put the wood down, there was a diorama of the house. So it's basically telling you about the sequences of events. Kind of weird how your puzzle solution is how you get to the puzzle solution. But I, I can appreciate that puzzle a whole lot more now that I understand it. Can't believe I never realized that earlier. I felt kind of dumb for that.
Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. So there's a lot of things in this reliquary. And I'm going to try to do them in a sequence of types. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Something unearthly for sure. Victor soldier. They told me they must die. It must that it must be violent to open the gates. Hey Linda, check this out. Give me a minute, I'm search Is that dried blood? That's Frank Stone's mask. I'll talk to you in a bit. Right now I'm trying to find all this stuff. Oh, it's a rabbit. We, we saw the rabbit mask in the past, didn't we? This whole place is like a film set. Kidney and Demon, Mesopotamia, 20th century BC. Statue from a kidney empire, cuneiform on fragmentary clay tablets discovered nearby suggests represents a mythological demon. Worship is believed a cable of bestowing spirits and natural power in exchange for the devotion to protect them and destroy the enemy. So this was from a house of ashes. Okay, we got the demonic statue. Fold of fear. Justin Joff. I got to I want to look on the back. Chapter 28, Manifestation. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy a few hours ago, but the starlight was now suffocated, strangled by storm clouds. Beatrice could neither see nor hear whether she'd been followed, not with the air so full of driving rain, as well as the cackling of cows cutting across each other, or crows cutting across each other, quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. The cacophony never seemed to fade, no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage. At least she couldn't hear the squelching, the slithering, the screaming. Yet still, she pushed on through into the roaring darkness. There was no way she could stop. Not now. Not when she had the, no clue what that thing might be. The thing that Samper had called, conjured, created. Not when the memory of it rising from the sludge and ripping upon apart was still burning bright in her mind. Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning, tumbling backwards into stones, sliding down into shallow salt water with this noisy splash. She landed with a painful cry. The sharp metallic taste of blood filled her mouth, and she released an awful scream as nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up, only for a bad ankle to buckle. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrice reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase. But her grasping fingers met only what felt like sinew and spines and sludge. For all the tears began to fill her eyes, she could just about see the Durani's form looming over her. Still dripping with the mud, it was born from the core of her friends. The clouds closed above. The rain began to drum once more. A knotted appendage in the monster's loathsome form caught the distant dying half-light as his body moved to strike. Can I look at the back of that book, please? A fiction book this well, but maybe a dark reality. And the 1960s, it is the 1960s, America is in crisis. Eager to escape the era's political turbulence, a band of idealists start building a new society along the guidance of their charismatic leader. Before long, their numbers swell within hundreds, leaving the hardships beyond to join the fold. But making a perfect world demands more than affirming mantras and a positive mindset. Soon the personal, personal troubles of the fox start to poison the paradise, and then things take a turn for the worse. Oh, it looks like I can't just put it back. I have to actually flip through it before. Well, I mean, I need to flip through it. I need to open Okay. Um. This thing? Press the play. 
I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or I don't know. Uh, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public, as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, okay, okay, that was an explosion, that was an explosion. I can't see. Uh, oh my! Oh, the police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police line has been broken. And I can't see anything. Oh my God! Oh God! Oh God! Holy shit! Power of your movie. The rumors are true about murder mill inciting violent rage. That, that's not what I want to do. Did I try an egg? This place is super cool if it wasn't super freaky. Is that Paradise Lost? From Milton? I feel like that's a famous picture that I've seen before. Well, that's cheery. I think I said that was like Little Hope, but someone corrected me before. So that's not Little Hope. Kind of reminds me of it, though. Okay, where is... I'm looking... I'm looking for something that I don't see. Let's talk to him. It's not going to be a spot. To yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It it is exactly like that. <laughs> there is no tomb in the Prophecy of Pain. Oh, I... Busted. Yeah, sorry. I, I was getting mixed up with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. Sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. A crowd pleaser. Is it Cliff Barra? My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. <laughs> but now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Hmm. <laughs> Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. I so badly here want to say a little wager because I think that's really interesting, but I'm going to go with respectful. There's really only one thing I can offer you, which is my friendship. <laughs> You're joking, right? You strike me as someone who doesn't end up with a lot of people in your corner. That's your opinion? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that whatever Augustine's up to does not involve us getting the sweet end of the deal. Point. If we've got any shot at figuring out what's going on and maybe getting the upper hand, we gotta trust each other. There's only one person I trust, and he's got two thumbs, and he's this guy. <laughs> you can trust me, Stan. I will give you my word on that. If you tell me the truth about your film strip, I'll, uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. 
Oh, I'm trying to make friends. So, this advances story. But there's also someone I'm supposed to get in the drawer. Ah, okay. Is this, this is mandatory then. No. There's no way. It can't be. Well, good super hey, can't Linda. be. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here open to this page. Talismans contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Or oh, it's a trap! Kind of while he just walks in, just punches him. No, we're not gonna do that. Can I not do this? There we go. What? Sheriff Green? A perilous place. Chapter 7. I think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out? Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Ah, uh, sure. Bonding. Such okay, a bad sure. idea. Thanks. <laughs> Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Ah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. Um, what are you for? And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> Look, if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, Dunzo, broke down, kaput. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Bands, you know? I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah. I think so, too. I wonder if there was ever Maybe a possibility go find everybody else. that Bonnie and Linda could have gotten Are you together. Sure, I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Second, my mom comes home. It's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety, splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure I... I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Thought I already got this. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do like there? Mm, same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera, anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Oh. Probably the only one, then. Yeah. Check it out. You should get him some air. Outside. Oh boy, search machine shop for Chris. I've already searched all the way around here. I don't think I can do anything till after I successfully fix the repair generator and stuff. Which I've never been able to do. Then again. Okay. What'll you be able to tell us? The first time I was on the hard circle, the second time I just didn't try. <laughs> <laughs> but the pressure is on. Okay. Okay. I gotta get back to Jaime and Bonnie. But, just to double check. I should go back and find the others. Yeah, we've been across here. I was here for fall off a beam. This is not the thing I should try in a redemption run, but I don't think it's gonna hurt. Nope, nope. Totally doesn't hurt.
Jaime and Bonnie must be waiting outside. Don't think I'm gonna find anything else here. Get here. Open the door. We gotta go, we gotta get out of here now. No, no, we gotta wait for Linda. Linda, did you find anything? I may? Uh, he's okay, but not okay. I, I think there was something with them that gave him that cut on his head. Something? Like what? Uh, apparently only Chris saw it through the camera. Well, let's go, let's go! Hello? Okay, we got this. We got this. <laughs> we got this. We got this. What the hell was that? I gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, we need power. I can get up there. That's my way out. I only need one part this time. I don't know why we're crawling. Part at. This is part at. I don't know how many times Frank Stone appears. I don't know if it gets worse the more he appears. And so I need to get this thing as fast as humanly possible. It's power. Yeah, I knew it needs power. Okay, I found it. Thanks to the power of mashing X over and over and over. I don't know I could rewind it out here. Oh dear lord. All right, you got this, fellas. It's only one thing you need to do. It's not two things, it's just one. Yeah! Now I guess I go through this way.
Oh god. Over there. Oh, this is intense right now. Fuck. No. It's coming. Over there. I see it. Can't hit it though. There we go. Oh. oh my gosh. That was intense. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Music is still beating hard. Okay. It's gone. I need to get to the others. Oh. Exit the rear yard. Escape from Frank Stone in the wagon shed. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Come on, you can do this. Do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You, can, you, you got this. You got, you got this. You got this. I never got this one before. Why do his instinct? She didn't have faith in her, but I feel the pain of what I must do. Back to all trinkets. Uh. Faster way down. Who's ah? Get me the heck out of here. Whoo! Made it through. Mystery Manor. Miss Castle. Uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, hasn't it? 20 years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Or Miss Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, there was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Skeptical or concern? Concern. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... No. I'm sorry. Ugh. Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. 
Oh, thank goodness. And at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? Defensive or hesitant? We haven't committed to anything yet. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Leave. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now <laughs> dude is a walking mess huh. i gotta hand it to you you are looking better than the last time i saw you yeah who's your guy <laughs> oh the accent did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit. Sure, you guys, I'm going home. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Huh? Was this locked before? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Where'd he go? See, I, I'm pretty sure this is the scene. Why is this here? This is a gateway, isn't it? Because this TV is in the curiosity shop. You see, that's stuff from the curiosity shop in uh, the 6th, uh, the 80s? Whatever. So, this is a gateway between the two time zones. That. that was the door. I'm like I saw something pop up, but I don't know what it was. Dan! So again, exploring everything. Cult. Just what I need. Augustine is devoted to a godlike entity. Mm. 
And here's... The spinny thing. What the heck is this place? Some sort of pattern. Okay, that's already ahead of you, happen. Maddie. That's good, I think. Hold on. Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. I would love to see a version of this game where Stan is a playable character. They always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. <laughs> you know, because I really feel like we're missing something when he's running away. Like, there's a whole scene there that's been taken out of the game that should be there. To a good old fashioned on off switch. Okay, one more to go. Tell me. And if you're wondering, yes, I did go and uh, plugged in my controller. Just playing games all day with a friend. And I thought it was charging, really but to shut this thing down. Th there's something wrong with my charger station I have because it doesn't seem to charge properly. How are you doing in there? Oh, dumb question. I thought it was my controller at first, but putting this thing in on a different uh, charger works perfectly fine. I wish that solution was as easy as my rendering palm. Every single time I try to render a video. There's a 50-50 chance it doesn't render and it crashes halfway through. And I'm having a really big issue with that. So if this video doesn't come out on Tuesday and it comes out on Wednesday, that's why. <laughs> Successfully vent the energy in the hollow hollow gear. So is this the same exact scene again? I keep feeling like there's got to be a different scene here. But I've not seen it. It's almost like this scene should have more. What's wrong, young man? Uh, nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. I I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something. I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? 
here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute, less than a lifetime. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Like, what do you think? Do you think there's supposed to be something more there? Mystery Manor continued. It's almost like you could probably take that scene out of the game, and I don't think it would change Pretty anything. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? Somber. She promised me freedom. <laughs> freedom? Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. And she wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitting image. I wish I would have stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now it's too late. Too late. Bonnie just recently passed. It's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. Huh. That's... That's too bad. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back then? Kids making Super 8 movies? Mm -hmm. In the mill? The mill's been gone for years. I told you, I don't count years anymore. Oh, Jesus, come on, Sam. You haven't been straight with me since the second you got here. I hate to break it to you, but that's all I've been. That's it. I think I'm going to take what the note. Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. Uh, find him all in. Got to find him before his skies are uh, folding in again. And it's, uh, uh, Diary. Almost went the wrong way. Didn't expect that second one. That caught me off guard. Take it easy. Uh, there. Uh, Sam, uh, you don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Concern. I looked at your journal. What? The things you wrote. You're not well. You need help. I need your help. Right now. I I'll help you, okay? But you gotta promise me you'll see someone when this is over. Sure. Promise me. I promise. Now, I know that's bad because I hurt the rep, but at the same time, it's one of those options that you may not get a chance to say very often. 
Sam? 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 Hello? Sam! Okay, so there's a lot of things in this small room. This is certainly something. All this stuff. It'd be cool if you got all this stuff and something happened because you got all this stuff. Murder mine. All other alternate version of murder mine. Oh, I didn't realize that. It says murder mine. Yeah. Huh. I'm a little bit slow sometimes. It's the left. That's the other arm. Different to those used. Just when I thought things couldn't get weirder. The arm is cool. The hand. There. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill. Wait. This screening never happened. A recent, this? a recent outbreak of mass violence and pandemonium in movie theaters across the country has been blamed on a low budget horror picture with the two twit here in Cedar Hills. The latest copycat incident in Sacramento occurred last night with the screening of the film Murder Mill triggered a mass ball that left 13 injured and three critically. Murder Mill was shot at the defunct Cedar Hill Steel Mill and has been afforded a national release in an effort to track this claim. The cash in on the notoriety of the site where serial killer Frank Stone committed his crimes more than 20 years ago. Since the release, however, there has been repeated episodes of violence at screenings, with Sacramento the latest in an increasing long line. That. So I guess you can't get the newspaper here? The one that talks about baby Jaime? Unless he died? Lamps is not from this time and place. So hold on, let me um let me look. So got the fake pop arm, got the t-shirt. Got the nurse and the lamp. Oh, uh, the ultimate movie scene we get here. Yeah, I guess you can get that last one. So. Or maybe the newspaper changes. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. Th this isn't right. <sighs> okay, that is not what we shot. Relax. Logan Chen letter. 
That letter's private. It's got nothing to do with you. Hmm. Probing. Sure, I, I like going through these even if they hurt my relationship because Who is Logan Chen? It's Linda. like don't story. you fucking lie to me. But when I stopped Frank Stone in the still mill back in 1963, I thought that'd be the end of it. But ever since, not a thing in my world has made sense. In any other either. Everything, all of this. Leads back to that night. And sure, I stopped him. But in the process, I caught a glimpse of the bigger picture. The stone was just a piece of something much worse. I couldn't shake the feeling that all I had done was delay the inevitable. That I was just one insignificant reflection of what actually happened. And it started to drive me crazy. Eventually, that led me to Logan Chen and the Imperiati. And they helped me to understand what I'd seen. And what I could do about it. And what I'd have to leave behind. You do know that you sound like a raving fucking lunatic, don't you? I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me. Fine, but I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? For every path taken, there exists another. Taken by a shadow self. Another reality. Another world. Worlds so close, they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel after all. I only needed the most Perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. I love her voice actress. The way she talks. So ominous at the same time. She really believes what she's saying. Which is insane because what she's saying is just ridiculous, but she she believes it. Well, my friends, uh, thank you for everything. I truly do appreciate you all. You are the number one YouTube for me on YouTube, and I can't thank you for everything that you do. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazingly awesome day. And I will see you again very soon on our continued Let's Play of the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. Until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved 
and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.